not aware of. I mean, I don't know that Kriti personally, so I'm not going to comment on the Padantara of the Kriti. Kandara there, I will tell you, there is a, there is a, history, I tell you why he has used the Kandara. There is a correctness in that, if he has used yes. it. Uh, people, uh, so many people will say, both and no, 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 about Kandara I tell you, Kaki and Keshiki I can tell you one thing. If it is Vrindavana Sangha, it should not have Kaki and Shada as per sure. tradition. Sure. Now, about Gandhara, there is an interesting re reason. Even if you say take Rangapura Vihara, take the notation, yes. there is a Gandhara there. Yes, so, I presume that there is a history of a Gandhara in, in Vrindavana Sangha. I don't remember where Nagapura Vihara, I remember Agupalvi somewhere one place Gandhara will come. And it is there in the notation also. If you take the, again the Pradashini, which is the, not the Pradashini, if you take the notation that is sung according to, sorry, DK Pataman, you will find that there is a Gandhara that she sings. So I presume that there is some tradition of singing, some history of the Gandhara in Vrindavan Saranga. After all, Vrindavan Saranga is an imported Raga. It's a Raga that's imported from the Hindustani uh, tradition. So I don't know, I am not very well aware of the Vrindavan Saranga whether the Hindustani musicians use a Gandhara when singing. I am not sure. No, they won't use it. No, it's not. They won't use it. No, no, one minute. When I say that they don't use the Gandhara, let me clarify. As an Anuswara in, in Alapana, you may, you may, it may even go unnoticed. When I say a Gandhara, they could, I am not sure whether they use. But the tradition of a Gandhara in Vrindavana Saga in both Rangapurara version, I have heard. I have heard uh, a version where it is sung. But I don't know. I am not sure. But as far as Kamalapukula goes, there is a question on the authenticity of the composition itself. A lot of people have questioned its authenticity. So I don't I don't want to comment about it because I'm not I don't know the composition personally. Mm. I could, both Nishadas they technically should not be used. It should be only Kaishi Nishada technically. But uh, I don't know, it should technically yeah. be only Kaishi Nishada, but I don't know that's what I can say. Some musician is saying Gandhara also in Kamalaptakula. That's what I said, no, maybe the, the reason for that could be because there is a Gandhara in usage in also Randhapura Vihara. Could be. I mean, that is all. I'm just uh, uh, supposing this. Okay, because I don't know Kamala Tukula personally and I don't know. I don't know. No, we use. Uh, <laughs> sing the claim, please. Kamala Tukula. The Rima Risa, I'm telling you the story is Rima Risa. Oh, Mudra, like that, uh, Riga Risa, they sing. I don't know, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not aware of that composition personally, so I'm not going to come in. But I can say that there is a usage of this Gandhara in Men Rangapuravirahara. That I know that there is a usage they use in some phrase, I'm not sure where. But I don't know how it has come, whether it is part of a tradition, whether it is something that has come as an Anuswara, which has become a pure swara later, which is also a possibility. Sometimes Anuswaras take a bigger role and become major Some position. Some musicians think like Kamalapta I've heard that also. I've heard both versions of the singing. Now, as far as Vrindana Saranga Rangapurayana goes, there should be no Kasi Nishala. But, <laughs> okay, now I have to explain this to you then. No. Okay, there is a confusion in this also. The confusion arises here. In today's context, let me clarify this. In today's concept, context, as we accept it today, there are two ragas. One is Vrindavani, one is Vrindavala Sangha. In today's context, what we do is we say Vrindavana Sangha has only Kaishi Nishada. Sarevavani. When you use both Nishadas, we call it Vrindavani. Now I'm going to put a big butt over here. Because for some reason, in the Sankira Sampradaya Pradeshini of 1904, this what we call Vrindavana Saranga today is called Vrindavani. Carnatic music, we sing Vrindavana Saranga, Sari Mabani Sari Ranga Pura. Famous composition. That we call Vrindavana Saranga today. And we call Vrindavani that has two Nishadas. But, hundred years ago, it has been in a text, he has mentioned that the Raga that has only Kaishi Nishada is Vrindavani. So, there is a confusion about this. 
Therefore, I'm, I'm, I don't think anybody knows an answer to this because obviously some change of nomenclature, nomenclature means names, has taken place. But in today's context, I can definitely tell you that Vrindavan Saranga is only Kaishik Nishada. Vrindavani has both Kaishiki and Kakal Nishada. But when the switch between these names took place, I don't know. I don't know how this has happened. There is this confusion that uh, is there. I was trying to avoid uh, getting into this uh, confusion, but since you asked me, I have had to clarify this. Any other questions? Can I proceed? Yeah. Okay, I just next, um, it's already 12 so I don't think I have much time. I'm going to do a set of four ragas. I did a set of two ragas, I did a set of three ragas. I thought I'd do a set of four ragas. Mix uh, um, some progression here. I'm going to take four ragas that could be called allied. Hairvi, Manji, Mukhari, and Husseini. All these four ragas are almost uh, ragas, have very, 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 very many things in similar, have phrases that overlap each other. Um, Husseini has phrases, uh, Manji has phrases that Husseini uses, Mukhari has phrases that Husseini uses, because Bhairavi has almost many of these phrases put together in this raga. Manji is again a very interesting raga, because it has uh, two versions of Manji itself. One is the Vargalamo version, if you have heard the Tamil composition, the Gopalakshabha, I'm not sure. And the other one is Brovamma, Shama Shastri's composition, Ramachandrayana Samrakshito, which is Mutsram Dikshita's composition. So there are, there, are, there are many, many things to these four ragas. Now about Manji, I'd just like to say something interesting before I proceed. According to apparently Tiger Vardacharya, who's a great giant of the yesterday years, Manji has lost itself to Bhairavi. He's supposed to have said that. He's supposed to have said that a lot of Manji today is now included in Bhairavi, so Manji has lost, lost his skull. So, that was possibly said in 1930. So, what Manji could have sounded like that before that is something that we'll have to only speculate on. But keeping the compositions that we have with us, Guru Matavasami, or Ramachandra Vikshitam, Vrigalamo, of course, is tuned. Um, is a traditional tune that is sung now many people. I am going to try and create a picture of Manji in comparison with Bhairavi and Mukhari and Hussein. How do you differentiate with it? Before that, uh, can anybody sing Viriboni Varnam Muktai Swaram Mundai, from that part. Anybody? Somebody else then, not him, somebody else. Or everybody, everybody knows Viriboni Varnam here? Everybody knows Viriboni. Can somebody sing please? Somebody, or two, three people can sing together. If you don't feel confident, three people can sing together. You <laughs> You take your shuti. Devata, do you sing there? Who said Shuddha Devata? Anybody sings any other Devata there? Who sings Shuddha Devata? Oh. No, you sing Shuddha Devata. I, uh, I, find that I don't want to know names or don't worry. You sing Shuddha Devata. Or do you sing Shuddha Devata? Okay. Anybody sing Shuddha Devata? Nobody sings Shuddha Devata. Okay. Can you tell me why you sing Shuddha Devata? So for those who may not know the name, Shuddha Devata is the bigger da. Shuddha Devata is the smaller da. Between the two das. Okay. 
Why? Why do you think Chitra Shikha? Is there a logic? Is there a reason? I will see what you say. Dhani nida dhani dhama So you say, no? Nida dhama How do you say that? Dhani nida dhama Okay. Dhani nida dhani dhama Nida dhama Why? I am starting from this Devatam for Bahiri purposely because there is this huge confusion about this Devatam of Bahiri. I will slowly move to other ragas from here. It is a good way to move. Why? Why do you sing Chatrish Devatam? Ah, I was waiting for that answer. Ah, Swaraj is a listening order. When we say, we use Chatrish Devatam. I mean, I say, I say, we... Sing Padanidapa for me in Bahiri. I want to sing, not in the charla, just the phrase. Pasa pa 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 da nita pa. Holy Spirit. Pa da nita. You sing pa da nita pa in Bhairavi, yeah? Always. Always, I like. You know any Krithi in Bhairavi? What Krithi do you know? Tell me what Krithi you know. Bala go bala. Nila di sing that. Shadira di la dara nira chakara ni upa ma. Okay. Nila di. What is sing that? Dani nila. That is Chaturjit too much. Why? That's wrong, no then? I was saying correctly, no? So that's wrong, you agree? Okay, I'm going to say something. I don't mean to offend anybody here, but I'm going to say something. It is wrong to sing Chaturjit Devitam there. I will tell you why also. In Bhairavi, Shuddha Devata is Pradhanya. In fact, originally Bhairavi, did not even have Chaturshita Devata. Do you know there was a Bhairavi with only Shuddha Devata 150 years ago? Huh? Bala Gopala used to be sung fully with Shuddha Devata, no Chaturshita Devata at all. So, uh, so there, was a, there was a tradition of singing Bhairavi with only Shuddha Devata. Chaturshita Devata came later. Chaturshita Devata is sung. It is not a question, again, this, again I, I waited for that ascending, descending answer, I knew that answer will come. <laughs> so, Bhairavi, forget about this ascending, descending of this Aruvana, Aruvana scale, okay. We will first take that and throw it to the nearest dustbin. Nearest dustbin, I tell you why. Because the Raga Bhairavi lies something much beyond this set of swaras. Now, the Shuddhani Vata is Pradhanya. When you sing Padani Dapa, you sing Tadare, you have all heard Bhairi Raga. Tadare, you heard the phrase? What Devata am I singing when I sing that? All of you will sing, not Shuddhani Vata. How can you sing that? Chatushri Devata is used only when you are going to move to Sajjam. Or when the Nishara moves to when I say me, I am actually going towards Sajja. Please understand that. When I say Sa, doesn't mean I have to actually physically go to Sa. When I say me, I am going to sing Padani. Oh, let's sing. Padani, Pada. When I sing Padani, Da, Padani, Da. See the difference. Shuddha Daivata is, in fact, in Bhairavi, the whole heart and soul of Bhairavi is that Panchama range. My Guru Shamudu Maharaj used to say, don't sing anywhere Bhairavi. Go to that Panchama and sing where else is there Bhairavi. Because...
So, Shatushri the Devatam is used only when you sing, when you sing this, you must sing. for this confusion. So please remember that Shuddha Devata is what is very important for you and not Chatushti Devata. And Chatushti Devata only comes when the Nishadam is lifted. See another very important thing about Gamakas. Every Gamaka is interlinked to the other Gamaka. Generally if you have one Swaram that has less Gamaka, the next Swaram will have more Gamaka. This is a guideline, just a guideline, I'll show you. Riga ma, very minor gamaka. Riga ma, parani. Take any raga I'll show you. Give me any raga I'll show you. Shakravaram. Sariga ma, parani sa, sani ta pa. Ma. Ga plen, ri, ri, sa. You see how the gamakas, you never have two swaras with very, very high frequency of gamakas operating with each other generally. Same thing, bhairi, padani. So when you go to nishadam, with a nishadam that is higher, which means going towards sacham, then chadushil devata is used. Padani, the knee is closer to the devata. Then, Shuddha Devata is used. To the extent, I will tell you another example of why. When I learned this, Kirtan Kodanu Yunnade in Bhairi. Kalu Vaihi. Very immortalized by Arikudi Ramar Jaingar. When my Guru Shamilama taught me this composition, he should tell me. There is the first line. Kalu Vaihi. Nida Pata Nisari. In fact, he will tell me, don't sing the da like that. Sing ko du vai ni da pa ni sa. Pa, so the da is only touched upon. Pa da ni sa, pa da ni sa. Almost it should say with that. Don't sing just with that. Pa da ni sa. So that is the amount of... Uh, Analysis that people have done to this. So it's very important that you know that Chakshita Devatam has to be used only when the Nishadam is high or you're going to such a Padani Sa Padani Dava Padani Dava 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 Okay. Now we move from the Chakshri Devatam to characteristics of Bhairi that makes it Bhairi. Bhairi has a very very strong Gandhara. Tapa Ga Ga Di The Ga is a very very predominant Swara. Tapa Ga Di Ga Ni Dapa Ga Similarly Nishadam Ri Ni Dapa Dapa Ga Di Sa Ri Ni Dapa Ga Di Sa This Nish, the Gandhara is very very big accent. Similarly, Saga Riga. What's the Arun Arun of Bhairavi? Anybody? Saga Riga Bhavada Nisa. Saga Riga Bhavada Nisa. The Gandharam again. So the Gandharam has a very heavy weight on it. This is very important to know, especially in relation to its Alay Vagas. Saga Riga Bhavada Nisa. Okay? 
So Gandharam is a very, very strong raga. In fact, we, if I very colloquially if I say, we hit that swaram a lot. Then we never sing Sarigama by itself in Bhai. We do not sing da da la never sing that in Bhai. Where you will sing it is Rizani da ba ba ga ni sari ga ba ba da ni sari. When you sing that that running phrase, Rizani da ba ba ga ni sari ga ba ba da, only then you will find this. Only in that Dhuita Kala run phrases will you find this phrase Sari Nisari. But never Sari Gamaba. It always has a support. More artists, So this Sari Gamma. I'll never sing Sari Gama like that in Alapana. Never. You should never sing in your lifetime. The moment you come and stop and say, and that Sari Gama phrase which I sang will be sung usually only in second speed swara. You will never hear it sing or in, a, in Alapana's fast run. You will never hear it in an Alapana builder. Of the la 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 the reason is Sarigama is a very important phrase in Manji. Sarigama phrase is used a lot in Manji. That is why never sing Sarigama as in an Alapana phrase or in any Kriti. You will find it in Kamakshi Swarajati. Dapa Magari Gamapada, you will find it in Kamakshi Swarajati. Before anybody comes and tells me it is there, I will tell you. You will find it in Kamakshi Swarajati, but it is contextually put. If you take the full phrase there, you will find that contextually it suits. But you normally will never sing it because it is more apt. From Manji phrase. Another thing is that Gandhara, I have to keep on emphasizing Gandharam. There is a tendency to sing the Gandharam very weak sometimes. Please do not sing. The moment I sing that, it is Manji. Manji is much flatter. See what kind of jaru it is. Very important phrase. Pani da ba mari da ba da di sa sa di. Manji generally is a slower raga as compared to Bhairavi. It is not in good to sing second speed swara in Manji because it's very difficult to maintain Manji's lakshanas in Durita Kala. Manji is more a critical raga or slow speed raga. You can sing first speed swara in Manji, but of course, it takes some taking to understand the raga. Tava maga nisa, very important phrase. Maga, just like you have Dabba maga nisa in Madhyamdu. It's also a Magarisa. You have a similar, but it's a longer. Rama Magarisa. Rama Chandra Samrakshito Ham Sita Rama Chandra. Prabhama Tamasa. Oh, I love you. 
Pontis phrases, Rodrigo Magari says, classic. You see, just I was saying before I sang See, you can almost see that overlapping of the Rigama Rigasa. It's overlapped between Manji and Hussein. This Rigama Rigasa, Hussein is also found in Manji. Rigama Rigasa, these phrases, is overlapped between the Suraga. So, that part is, there's a commonality between the two. Now, I'll naturally move to Husseini from here. Husseini is a much crisper raga. When I say crisp, the kamakas are very, very sharp. You don't have elongation of notes. So notes are much flatter, sharper and crisper. This pani danisa is very important for Husseini. Ma pani danisa then, very unique phrase, which Chagushidhar, Sanita Pamma, not with Shuddha Devatam, with Chagushidhar Devatam. This is not found in either Manji or in Mukhari or in Kheri. You see, Pani Nidhava, you see Vishuddha Devita in Hussein. Vegama Pani Nidhava, otherwise, you 99% of the times only sing Chodushi Devita in Hussein. Which is contrasting to the other, other three ragas. It's possibly the only phrase where you sing Shuddha Devita or Pani Denisa Chodushi Devita. Sa Nidhava Ma Chodushi Devita. So Hussein is raga where Chodushi Devita plays a very very strong role as compared to the other three allied ragas. So this is very strong. Rama Nine no Mina Nijamuka Sita Rama Nine no Mina Nijamuka Very important. You can almost keep that as a grama. Very important. Sasapa. The moment they sing, Prasina, who say that I have all of it. Automatically means that we can only sing. The same Sapa will be sung in other ragas, but in this way, with the sharp Sasasa, you will only be sung in Hussein. Much more cut phrases. The swarms are much more sharper. And the strength of the Chadushita Devutam is much stronger in Hussein as compared to Bahiri or Manchi. Now, I am running out of time, that's why I am trying to uh, go a little fast. Come to Mukhari. Now, uh, Mukhari, I will move from Hussein to Mukhari with one phrase which is commonly used in both. Nidama. This Nidama phrase you will find has, uh, is used also in Mukhari. 
it is uchitam if it is not used in Bukhari. Because it is a classic Bukhari, classic Husseini phrase which has floated itself. Obviously, when all these ragas are sung over years, there will be some cross linking that has happened. But in this case, it is a classic Husseini phrase which has seeped into Bukhari somehow. Because if you take the Kritis, because in our music, the best way to understand ragas is through compositions. Because the compositions give us the database for the raga. This is a very important difference between Hindustani music and Carnatic music. In fact, this was discussed in a conference which was in Bombay, we were, uh, which I had attended, a Hindustani and Carnatic music conference. In Carnatic music, the ragas, how do we understand our ragas? We understand our ragas through the compositions. In Hindustani music, that is not the case. The ragas have, their swarasthanas are used for understanding the compositions. I mean, understanding the ragas, I apologize. But in Carnatic music, if you want to understand a Mukhari, I cannot teach you to sing this Mukhari in my lifetime if I don't teach you 10 compositions in Mukhari. If I teach you 10 compositions, you will understand the ragas much better. That is because many of our ragas are based completely on phrases and not on sthana. If you have ragas that are based on sthana, a skill based raga, uh, take for example, oh, you know, even a Hindola. It is uh, quite possible to sing a Hindola by knowing just the skill. Because the raga is defined by the skill. But ragas like Mukhari, Husseini, Athana or Bhairvi are defined not by the scale but by completely by Sancharas. How can I teach you a Sanchara? How can anybody teach you? The Sancharas are embedded in the interpretations of the ragas given to us by great masters. And each of them are given different colors. And of course by learning that you create your own color. Because after all your, hair, your brain is like a computer. It just takes all this as a database and you use this to create more. So, Bukhari, I would say that Nidama phrase, Nidama, which is Tashuddhi Devata, do not use in Bukhari. Now, Bukhari. You have the same Mama Maga, you have it, like in Manji, but it is shorter and very importantly, always finishes with a Riga Sa. Of course, in terms of scale, Sari Mama, Sari Ma, there is no Gandhara in the ascendance of Mukhari, which is an obvious difference. Sari Ma Pani Dasa, or Sari Ma Padasa, some people didn't sing that, both are okay. Sari Dama Magadisa. Again, the Gandhara of Mukhari and Nishanam are not sharp like in Bhairavi. Sani Dhani Dapa Magadisa. It is a glide, but not such an extensive glide like a manji. That is why Mukhari can be sung male uh, fast speed and slow speed because it gives that provision of the structure. And very important phrase. The Ivatam in Mukhari has to be elongated. Pavani Dapa Tala is by Is Mukhari. See this difference. Pavani Dapa is common to both ragas. Tala is Mukhari. That they even, on the moment when you come to Nishan, they even dash and elongate a little bit. It will sound more like Mukhari than Bahiri. Mapadapa, Mapadani is a common area for both Bahiri and Mukhari, so it has to be sung very carefully, understanding the Raga Raksha. Okay? Then, very important. Sani Devata. These are all classic Mukhari phrases. Just classic Mukhari phrases which will you will never find in any of these other ragas that are like. The part where in Mukhari you have a problem in terms of its alliance with Bhairavi is in the Pancham range. Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
what that is where most people find a problem how do i develop in panchama without showing behavior should i keep on saying re ma pa re ma pa what necessary tal
So there is a difference between Karnataka Deva Gandhari beam class which are the same and Abheri. Today, unfortunately, we don't make this difference. We sing it all as same. Uh, why it changed all these things, we will not get into. But it has changed. Uh, all I can say is you can sing it however you want. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> now, uh, our Udhir Vichandrika and Sudhan Yasi. Now, we generally think Udhir Vichandrika and Sudhan Yasi are the same. But there is an Udhir Vichandrika of Dikshita school, the Venkatamakin school, which is different from the Sudhan Yasi that we sing. So, Udhir Vichandrika of Venkatamakin is the Shuddhanyasi with Kakali Nishada. Answer question two. Question three, Purna Chandrika and Bangala. Is Bangala. There's a very big difference. When I think the scales, you think there's no difference. Purna Chandrika is a raga that has much more than what the Aravana Aravana gives. Bangala is basically what the Aravana gives. Sarega ma papa sa sani pa mama Kirti raja sutta tanaya Saraya kirti raja sutta tanaya Saraya kirti raja sutta tanaya Saraya kirti raja sutta She is completely skilled. Bangala is a complete. Now in Poona Chandrika, first of all, that ma, repa, ma, rega, ma, di, you will never sing Poona Chandrika. Ta, da, la, ma, ra, na. Rishwam is very strong in Poona Chandrika. Ta, da, da, na. And, ta, da, la, la, la. Papa, be, sa, di. Very important in Poona Chandrika. And, you sing Pada, Pama in Poona Chandrika. Though it's not there in the Arun Arun. Ta, da, da, da. You see how strong the ritual is. And Papa Sasa, the obvious difference, Papa Sada, Pada Pasa, difference. Then, Allah the crown does not give you Dada Pama. Deepa Mapa Dada Pama Pama Gama Di Nisa. Then, there is Nisa Di Gama that is allowed in Purna Chandrika. People say it is wrong. It is not wrong. Do Pada Pasa People think if you sing, people think if you sing Nisa Rikama, it will sound like Janaranjani. It will not sound like Janaranjani. You must know how to sing Janaranjani. You say Nisa Rikama, how you sing it in Janaranjani is different from how you will sing it in Purna Chandrika. The ta is very sharp. If you sing that, it's Janajani. Vega Mabada Vanisa. Vega Mabada Va. It's Purna Chandrika. That's all the difference is. Pada Va, Pada Va. Ta la da 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 la li ma la. Janajani. Ta ta la da la da la 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 la
Papa Nisa now. But we never heard that Jenny. So you can sing Nisari Kama. Nisari Kama is allowed in Purushika. Re, Re, Gama, Re, Gama, Pa, Ma, Gama, Re, Sa, Re, Re, Pa, Ma, Pa, Gama, Re, Re, Pa, Ma, Pa, Da, Da, Pa, Ma, Pa, Gama, Re, Re, Sa, Re, Gama, Pa, Ma, Gama, Pa, Da, Da, Pa, Ma, Re, Re, Gama, Pa, Ma, Da, 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 Ni, Pa, Re, Sa, Ni, Pa, Ma, Re, Gama, Da, Pa, Re, Sa, Ni, Sa, Re, Gama, Re, 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 Sa, Da, Da, Pa, Ma, Ma, Gama, Re, Sa, Ni, Sa, Ni, Pa, Da, Ni, Pa, Re, Sa, Ni, Sa, Ni, Pa, Ma, Re, Gama, Re, Sa, Re, Re, Sa, Ma, Re, Gama, Re, Sa, Re, Pangala is a much more scale based raga, completely defined by the Aron Aurana, completely defined by the Aron Aurana. Muna Chandrika is a raga that is much beyond just the Aron Aurana. Shanka Chakra Gatha Panim Adam Pande Shri Shanka Chakra Gatha Panim Adam beyond just the like a bangla scale and like I said I showed you so many phrases that are classic Poonachitrika phrases The Rishwam has to always hit hard when you sing Poonachitrika very hard only then the character is Poonachitrika I think that's about it any questions I can answer What? Oh, Dharashri. Oh. That uh, Dharashri is actually a. Uh, yeah, it is Dharashri. Uh, almost the same. There is a minor difference. I am not sure about what the difference is. I don't remember. They say there's a difference. Dharashri is very, very close. I think there's a very, very minor difference between Dharashri and not Abheri. Himplas and Kannada and Jaimadri. Abheri is totally different. Could you give correct Aronanda for Sindhu Bhairavi? Ah, very difficult question. I don't think you can give an Aron Aron for Sindhu Bhairavi. Because Bhairav thought is exactly the same uh, Bhairav Tha, sorry, Bhairavi, let me clarify. Bhairavi is exactly the same as Todi. Not Bhairav, but Bhairavi. Bhairav is Mahabhadakoda. Bhairavi is Todi. So, technically, Bhairavi is Todi. Sindhu Bhairavi, in fact, Sindhu Bhairavi is not a major raga in Hindustani music. It's only, they use only for Thumris and stuff. In fact, they don't use it for major uh, elaboration at all. Sindhu Bhairavi is, a, I can say, a lighter version take off from the Hindi. It uses sometimes Andhra Gandharas. It uses So it is basically, um, it is very difficult to give a scale. Almost all Swanas are used. Usually only Kargil Ishara is not used, but even that sometimes people use. Uh, that is the only thing I've heard people use Kargil Ishara. Sarega ma bada ni sa sa ni da ma ma ga ga ma ga re ga re pa ma re ga re ga re sa ra Sometimes even Padasa. Yeah, sir, Padasa rule is nothing wrong because it's Sampurna. Practically it is Sampurna. The thing is with Sindhu Bhairavi is it uses almost all these Swaras. Okay, it does not use usually Kakali Nishada, but Sani Sa, sometimes people see that Sani Sa at the end just for a sudden different of the Some people use that just for a flavor. So Sindhu Bhairi is basically a lighter version 
a folkish version. The actual original raga is Bhairavi. Bhairavi is the original raga which is basically our Todi as sung today without any kamaka. Okay? So basically that, uh, the Sindhu Bhairavi uses two Gandharas, two Rishabhas, uh, everything to Practically, uh, or practically all the swaras there nowadays it's used. So, it's very, very difficult to give you uh, the arona. You can see that it's, it's more the flavor of the raga, the tone of the raga that inspires you. Any other questions? Huh? Come on. Arona, arona. <laughs> Again, these are very difficult to give one krama. I can give three kramas which are all correct. But Sarima Padesa Papa Bagadi Garisa, but Sarima Kama Paj allowed. Sarima Vanasa, because we definitely have the Sarima Bagadisa. But that is not complete Yudhukura Kamaji at all because even Sani Dapa is allowed. Sani Nidhava Pama Magagarisa is there in Yudhukura Kamaji Swarajiti. So Sani Dapa is allowed. Tere Nadani Sarisa. So it's very difficult to give Yudhukura Kamaji Arona Arona. I sincerely say I don't know. You ask me to sing Ragam, I'll sing for you Ragam. But Arona Arona I cannot tell you because Everything will be wrong. Any Aruna that you give, I tell you, this is there, this is not. These ragas you should not. It's a major, I think, uh, my personal opinion is, unfortunately, this Aruna Aruna has spoiled our music. <laughs> in my personal opinion. Because what has happened is we are trying to put Aruna Arunas to ragas that cannot be put into Aruna Aruna. And when we teach, we try telling the student, oh, you must sing Suruti like this. In his lifetime, he will never sing Suruti. <laughs> I, the Aruna Aruna Surti will never describe Surti. Aruna Aruna Yudhukura Kamaji will never describe. So when you teach at least these Rakti Ragas, you would please just teach the Kriti. And secure the Aruna Aruna and say this is just a skeleton that gives a picture. Because then you will ask me, you told me Mapa Dasa, you are singing Dhani Sarisa, how can you sing? Very logical question, I don't answer it, no? So the point is, please understand these Ragas existed before we started putting Aruna Aruna to them. In English or in most poetry, if you take poetry, you people write poetry first. Then based on the poetry, they write grammar. <laughs> so grammar continuously changes in literature according to the poetry that is written. Poetry does not change according to grammar. Similarly in music, music came first. The grammar was written for the music. So people sang Yudhukla Kambodhi, people sang Hari Kambojis, people sang that. Then based on what they sang, they said, okay, since these are the phrases that are there, let us say this is, must be the approximate structure. Approximate structure. So it's difficult. Yudhukla Kambodhi, I don't know the answer. Any other questions? Nama. <coughs> ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾಗಿರುವ ಆ ಮೂರ್ತದಿಂದ ಆ ಮೂರ್ತಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗುವ ಕ್ರಿಯೆಗೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಕೃತಿಗಳ ಸಹಕಾರ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಈ ದಿನ ಒತ್ತಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾವು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ಸಂಗೀತದ ರಾಗ ದರ್ಶನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಮ್ಮೆ ಇವರ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಒಂದ್ ತರ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪಡಿಬೇಕು ಅದು ಮನೋಧರ್ಮ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಜ ಬಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ಅವರ ಇದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳು ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗಿ ದೊರಕಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬಹಳ ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಈ ಕಬಲು ರಾಗಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಪರಿಣಾಮಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ರಾಗಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಕೂತು ಅವರು ನಿರ್ಗಳವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನು ವಿಷಯವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ವಿಚಾರಗಳು ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಆದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ರಾಗಗಳು ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಈ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಗವನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ರಾಗಗಳನ್ನ ರಾಗಗಳನ್ನ ನೋಡುವ ರೀತಿ ರಾಗಗಳ ನಡಿಗೆಗಳು ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ರಾಗಗಳ ಸ್ವರ ಸ್ಥಾನಗಳನ್ನ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಗಮನಿಸಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಬಹಳ ಉತ್ತಮವಾಗಿ ಪರಿಣಾಮಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ತಿಳಿಪಡಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವರು ಅವರು ಇದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದು ಅವರ ಜ್ಞಾನದ
ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಅಚ್ಚುಕಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಬೈಲಿನ ಸಹಕಾರ ನೀಡತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೂ ಬಹಳ ಸೊಸಾಗಿ ಬೈಲಿನ ಸಹಕಾರ ನೀಡತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ ಇದು ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಹಾಗೂ ತಮ್ಮಗಳ ನಮ್ಮ ಊರಿನ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ಅವರು ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಮೃದಂಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾಗ ಪಡೆದಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಬಹಳ ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಕೈಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಸಿಗಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ತರ ಉತ್ತಮ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಒದಗಿದೊಂದು ಉತ್ತಮವಾದಂತಹ ಮೃದಂಗ ಸಹಕಾರ ತಾವೇನಾದರೂ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದು ಅನುಗ್ರಹಿಸಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಇದರ ಸದುಪಯೋಗವನ್ನು ಪಡ್ಕೊಬೇಕು ಅಂತಿದ್ರೆ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಇವತ್ತಾದಂತಹ ಚಿಂತನೆಯನ್ನು ಸದಾ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ